Hello, Mary. Good evening. Hello, Mary. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay, how are you today, Mary? I'm good. Wow, that's really nice. What's the weather today? It's sunny. Oh, that's great, Mary. Okay, now I want you to look at your book. Are you ready to start? Yes, I'm ready. Great. So you're going to read and complete the sentence by drawing lines. So there is one example. Look, when Daisy hops, her dad laughs. Okay, now what about number two, Mary? Now your turn. When Daisy's mom is happy, let's draw a line. Okay, when Daisy makes a cake, her sister is happy. Very good. What about Daisy's mom in number two? Okay, look at her mom. When Daisy's mom is happy. Oh, wow, very good. When Daisy's brother sees a big dog, he is often afraid. Nice. Okay, when Daisy listens to her favorite pop, pop star. She always saying great job. And lastly, what's number two? Wow, well done, Mary. Okay, now this time, I want you to look and read your answer. What's number two? When Daisy mom she cries. Very good. How about number three? When Daisy makes a cake, her sister is happy. Great job. Four. When Daisy brother sees a big dog, he opens up. Nine. Okay, say he is often afraid. He is, he is often afraid. Very good. And last one. When Daisy listens to her favorite pop star, he always sing. That's right. Well done, Mary. So you've got one, two, three, four, five stars. Great job, Mary. Okay, now let's have a practice test. Now this time, you're going to look at the pictures. You read the sentences and choose the correct words. So here are the options. We have library, an ear, a table, a playground, 
a phone, a supermarket, a mouth, and an armchair. So there is one example. Okay, look. This is in your house and it has got four legs. When you eat your dinner, you put your food on it. So what is it? It's a table. table. Very good. Now, what about number one? Now, you read and choose your answer. You can do it, Mary. A mouth. Let's read first. You smile. You smile. You smile. Eat and talk with this. It's on your face. Okay, so what is it? It's a, a mouth. It's a mouth. Very good. Oh. You smile, eat, and talk with this. It's on your face. It's a mouth. Great. Okay, now what about this one? There, there are, are lots of, of... There are a lot of books here. You can read... You can read them here or you can read them at home. Okay, so what is it? It's a library. Great job, Mary. Okay, what about number three? This is in... This is in the living room, and you can sit on it. It is, it is smaller than a sofa. It's on armchair. Wow, well done. How about number four, Mary? This is part of your body. You can listen with it. Wow, nice, Mary. How about number five? This is a very big shop. You can buy food here, a supermarket. Well done. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Perfect, Mary. Wow. So that is a perfect score of? Five out of five. So, of course, I'm going to give you five stars again. One, two, three, four, five. Great, Mary. Now, listen and answer. Okay. So, we hold this with our hand when we text or call someone. What is it? It's a phone. That is right. Yes, it is a phone. Very good. Okay. Now, look at this one. This is the place where we go to climb, to swing, and to slide. What is it? It's a playground. Well done, Mary. Yay. Now, this time, you're going to listen and write the letters. There is one example. Listen carefully. Here it is, Mary. Listening 17. Movers practice test. Listening part 3. Listen and look. There is one example. Peter is telling Mrs. Green about his family and friends and where they went today. Where did each person go? Hi, Peter. What did you do today? I went to the town with my friend Charlie. Did you go shopping? Yes, we did. We went to the supermarket to buy some comics. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What about your friend Jim? Did he go to the supermarket too? 
No, he went to the sports center. He plays tennis there. Is he good at tennis? Yes, he is. Lily went to the town too. Who's Lily? She's my friend too. She went to the shopping center with her mum. Does she like shopping? No, she doesn't. Have you got any brothers or sisters? Yes, I've got one brother and one sister. Where did your brother go today? Ah,、uh, he went to the library. He loves reading books. And what about your sister? Ah,、uh, she went to the playground with her friends. No, she went with my mum. My sister's younger than me. She's three. Was your dad at the playground too? No, he wasn't. He was at work. What time did he go to work? He went to the train station at six o'clock. That's early. All right. Now let's check your answer. Are you ready? Or do you want to listen again? Listen again. Okay, here it is, Mary. Listen carefully. Nay. I went to the town with my friend Charlie. Did you go shopping? Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What about your friend Jim? Did he go to the supermarket too? No, he went to the sports center. He plays tennis there. Is he good at tennis? Yes, he is. Very good. Lily went to the town too. Who's Lily? She's my friend too. She went to the shopping center with her mum. Does she like shopping? No, she doesn't. Have you got any brothers or sisters? Yes, I've got one brother and one sister. Where did your brother go today? Ah,、uh, he went to the library. He loves reading books. And what about your sister? Ah,、uh, she went to the playground with her friends. No, she went with my mum. My sister's younger than me. She's three. Was your dad at the playground too? No, he wasn't. He was at work. What time did he go to work? He went to the train station at six o'clock. That's early. All right. Now let's check your answers, Mary. So we've got his dad. He went to the train station. Very good. Listening seventeen. Then we have here his brother. He went to the library. That's right. Jim went to the sports center. Great. His sister went to the playground, and Lily went to the shopping center. Well done. Okay. So for this one, you've got a perfect score again of five out of five. Give me a high five, Mary. Great job. Okay. So this time you have another five stars. One, two, three, four. Five. Very good, Mary. Okay. Now this time, Mary, let's read and write one to three words just to complete the sentences. It's all about me. Okay. Now look at the examples. There are two examples here. Grace's dog is good at running. Another example. There are three bedrooms in Grace's flat. Now I want you to look and read Grace's story. My name is Grace. I have the 
Very good. Now, let's complete the sentences by writing one to two words. Oh, wow. You already have an answer. Grace has got the smallest bedroom. Let's see. Dang, 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 dang. Wow. Very good, Mary. What about this one? Very nice. Okay, how about number three? Okay, goes to the library on Saturday mornings. This is also correct because you've got the main answer. Nice, Mary. So that's another three hearts. One, two, three. Very good, Mary. Okay, but there's more. Okay, now look and complete. But first, let's read again. Yesterday was Wednesday. First day was Wednesday. It was my birthday. After lunch, I went to the spa center. Center with my family and some friends. The spa center is, uh, it hurt. You can play hockey there. Yeah. I love to practice hockey every weekend. It is. Is my favorite spot. After that, we went to a cafe near the park. Very good. Okay, now what is your answer in number four, Mary? Oh, wait. Oh. Yesterday was Grace's birthday. Very good, Mary. What about number five? You can play hockey. Wow, that's right. What about number six? Wow, well done. You are so smart. Give me a high five, Mary. Great. Okay, that's another three stars for you. One, two, three. Very good. Perfect, Mary. Okay, now, Mary, we are done. Let's count your stars for this unit. Let's count, let's count now. One. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Wow, that's 21 stars just for this. Okay, now let's learn more, Mary. So we are now in unit four. It's all about at home. Okay, now this time, let's learn the new words. Okay, now look, listen, and repeat. Bad. Bad. Very good. Blanket. Blanket. Nice. Laptop. Laptop. Very good. Now look at the bat. We use the bat to hit the ball in baseball. All right? Yeah. Okay. Have you got a bat? Have you got a bat? No, I don't. That's all right. Now look at this. What is it? This is a blanket. Very good. So we use a blanket at night when we go to sleep because it's very cold. So we put blanket on our body to cover our body. Okay, now look at your blanket, Mary. What color is it? <laughs> wow, that's a lovely color. Okay, so do you use blanket when you sleep? Mm. I sometimes use blanket when I sleep. Very good, Mary. Okay, now look at this one. What is it? This is a laptop. Very good. So a laptop is like a computer, but it's more convenient than a computer. A laptop can be used when we join the class. We can also watch movies with it. We can play games. We can make homework and a lot of things with the laptop. Are you using your laptop now? No, but do you have a laptop? Wow, that's great, Mary. What do you use the laptop for? I don't use the laptop. Oh, you don't? My oh. Ah, very good. How old is your sister, Mary? She's 11 years. Oh, wow. And what about you? How old are you? I'm 8 years. Oh, you're so young but smart. Okay, now look, listen, and repeat. Comic. Comic. Nice. Map of the world. Map of the world. Very good. Cage. Oh. Cage. Cage. Great Cage. job. Now look, what is it? This is a comic. Very good. A comic is a type of book that has a funny story and it has lots of pictures. More pictures than the words. By just looking at the pictures, so we can already understand what's the story all about. Do you like reading comics? Yeah. Wow, that's great, Mary. Okay, now look at this one. What is it? It's a map. Yes. What kind of map is it? Is it a map of a city, a map of the country, or what? A map of the world. That's right. So the map of the world is the biggest map of all. 
because we can see different countries in this map. And there are 193 countries in the world. That's a lot, including Vietnam, Philippines, USA, Europe, and a lot of countries. Okay, now look, when we say map, this is what we look at to see where direction are we going for example if you're go if i'm going to vietnam and i don't know where is your house i have to look at the map and i will search mary's house then i by the by looking at the map i can know where do you live if only i have your address all right <laughs> okay now look when for example I want to go the, the, to the library, but I don't know where the library is. So we have to look at the map of the city. Then we can just follow the map on going to the library. Is that clear, Mary? Great. So we use a map to give us the direction of something. Okay. Okay, Mary. Very good. Now, have okay. you got a map? No. No. All right. Do you have a phone? Yeah. Very good. Your phone has a map. You can just search. Library. Then there are many libraries that will. So then you can click that library. Then you just have to follow the map. That is what we call Google Maps. Okay, now look. What is it, Mary? A cage. Yes, it's a cage. A cage is the animal's home. Just like the bird, the cat. The hamster and some rabbits. Okay, sometimes we put the dog in a cage, but bigger cage. Okay, so that they don't go outside and they won't be lost. Have you got a pet, Mary? No. Oh, do you want to have a pet? Yeah. Wow, what pet do you like? Oh, you like a hamster? Very good. It's so cute. All right, Mary. Now look, listen, and repeat. Helmet. Helmet. Very good. Plant. Plant. Nice. Shower. Shower. Very good. Look, Mary, what is it? It's a helmet. That's right. A helmet is what we put on our head when we ride a bicycle or a motorbike so that if there's an accident, our head is safe. It protects our head. Okay? Okay. Very good. Now look, what is it? A plant. Very good. So this is a plant. A plant can be vegetables, fruits, trees, and flowers. Okay, but this is very specific to plant because we cannot see any fruits, we cannot see any vegetables, we cannot see flowers. It just leaves, so we call it plants. And lastly, look, what is it, Mary? It's a shower. Very good. Did you take a shower today? Yeah. Perfect, Mary. Give me a high five, Mary. Great job. So today you've got 24 stars. Well done. You did great in our practice test. And I hope you learned some words. Do you have any question? No. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good night and see you next week. Bye, Mary. Bye.